new maps for this month, July 2024. Just released. If you want to go download the maps, sat103.com. The same as my YouTube channel name. Same as before, just an update. I'm going to talk about this unit for a moment here. This is a new V, I think it's a 44. Yes, this is a 44, not LM. So this one cannot get free map updates from Garmin, but can use my maps. It works out quite nice. And once again, I have to talk about the Essentials line from Garmin that was released over 10 years ago now. From 2012. So actually, it might be just 10 years. I'm not sure. I'll have to look that up. Somewhere between 2012 and 2014, or maybe 2011, 2014. This is one of the super basic models, which was the Nuvi 30. Nuvi 40, Nuvi 42, Nuvi 44, Nuvi 50, Nuvi 52, and Nuvi 54. And I own all of them, <laughs> including this one. Yeah, this is, uh, when I think of, okay, uh, for backup GPSs, because I use a DriveSmart 66 daily. This, yeah, this is an excellent backup just for the fact it's so basic. And the, specifically, the 42, 44, and 52, 54 use the little circle clip in the back of this instead of that uh, larger, larger mounting clip. And in addition to that, the 42, 44, 52, 54 has a better power button on the top that does not have aging plastics that will crack off. I used to think that it was just the new V40 that had that plastic cracking issue. No, um, as I've unfortunately experienced, the 30, 40, and 50 also can have that power button problem where the plastic cracks off just due to age just from age it doesn't make them unusable you can still uh, take a pen and uh, poke it in the little spot if the uh, power button cracks off and still power it up it doesn't make it non-functional you can still use it but for these guys 42 44 52 54 it's got a much more, I guess I would describe as a robust power button. And it, uh, yeah, I have had no issues with these whatsoever. So that's good. And yeah, just talking about backup units. The One of the best things about these older Essentials series is there is essentially nothing to go, yeah, essentially, ha ha, funny. <laughs> that was totally unintentional, I swear. There there's nothing to go wrong with it and what I mean by that is because it does not have Bluetooth it does not have Wi-Fi it does not have traffic all this thing does is GPS and only GPS that's it which v suits it very well for open street map use as a matter of fact out of every Garmin I own and I own a lot of them. The Essentials line definitely handles OpenStreetMap best. I have had other models where I've put OpenStreetMap on it and on particularly longer routes it will crash, as in a software crash. Not this one. And uh, yeah, anywhere from all the Essentials models I've never had a single one of those have a software crash from using OpenStreetMap data. 
part of the reason for that is because it's just so simple in operation, not just for for me using it, but just the processing it does on the inside. It doesn't have much to think about. That's a good thing. That's a very good thing when it comes to this. And <clears throat> every now and then I think about it and I say, all right, um, I think about, oh, maybe I should have a backup as something a little more advanced. Like, say, a 2597 or even a 2599, because I got a few of those. Or, you know, something, maybe something with traffic at bare minimum or maybe something else. It always comes back to these. It always does, because I can take one of these. I can put it in the glove box and with a USB cable. And I know I can just let it sit there. It handles the heat just fine. It handles the cold just fine. There's quite literally nothing to worry about when it comes to one of these Essentials models, which is why I, I have brought it up several times over the course of the videos I've posted to this YouTube channel. This is just one of the good ones, and um, I have said elsewhere, uh, specifically speaking about the Nuvi 50, that specific model, that it is the best model Garmin ever released, even with that little plastic cracky thing at the top, because it has the largest fonts that even rival a DriveSmart 76, and that's no joke. I think the only, yeah, the only model I have ever known for legibility to keep up with the new V50, there's one older and one newer. The older one is the 1490 or the 1450, and the newer one is the DriveSmart 65. Only with the 65, with the 6.5, Six, excuse me, 6.95 inch screen, did it get up to the text size? Well, okay, this one's quite small right now because it's, I mean, this is OpenStreetMap and sometimes it does this, but I can always you know, do this and I can read it easier. I just wanted to point that out. But yeah, the 1450, 1490 and the DriveSmart 65 are the, I have to think about this for a second. Yeah, pretty much the only ones that keep up with the legibility of a Nuvi 50. Because the fonts on the 50 are huge and in a very good way. You get the largest fonts with the smallest size. So even with a 5 inch screen, it can keep up with a 7 inch screen. And that's saying something, that really is. I have one working 50 right now. Oh, and another thing I should say about the Nuvi 50, easy to come by. Oh my God, you can find those <laughs> eBay Goodwill thrift stores everywhere. They're so cheap. You just have to find one that doesn't have the cracky plastic at the top. And even if it does have the cracky plastic, if you're going to use it as a backup, yeah, use it anyway. But it, for me personally, even though the 4244, 5254 doesn't have fonts as large, it makes up for that with a much better power button and it has the circle clip in the back. So what that means is that, like, yeah, what it means is this. You can get reproduction um, circle clip mounts on e eBay right now, easy to come by. Getting a Nuvi 50 clip, that is a little more of a challenge. I have three of them, and I'm just talking about the clips there. Two of them are a bit loose because of the uh, metal spring in the back, and one of them is good. Eugh. But when it comes to those circle clips, oh, I got a whole pile of those. I got, like, what, eight, nine, ten of them? Just from models that I've bought. And they work with so many models. So that's another reason that I like the 4244, 5254 better than the 3040, Now, personally, my favorite out of all of them, the Essentials, is actually the 40. I love the 40. There's just, it's got 
So while true that the five inch has the best legibility, the 40 is a very, <clears throat> excuse me, very close second because with that one, you get the largest, uh, excuse me, best legibility in a 4.3 inch, which for smaller cars and even larger cars, you can read that from a distance. Fantastic. I'm sorry, this video was about maps, wasn't it? Well, <laughs> I went, got totally sidetracked on that. Whatever, I'll release this anyway. So, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Anyway, new maps just released. United States, July 2024. Sat103.com, same as my YouTube channel name. Go get it if you want.